Only one. Okay, it's on. Uh, hello from Heritage Farms. Here we are, and um, I wanted to show a little trick that I learned this year about keeping cabbage moths away from your brassicas. That would be your cabbages, your broccoli, your um, cauliflower, things like that. So I want to show you what you do is you plant some dill in between them. So I've got dill here and if you look at these, at first I was a little um, skeptical but as I look at these leaves, yeah we got a little bit of eating here but if you would ever be around here you would see a lot more at, by this time of the year. Look at this beautiful broccoli. Let's walk down the row here. Look at this. Look at these beautiful heads here. And not much, not much damage. Here's a little bit of damage from the cabbage worm, but not much damage. So I'm thankful for that. I don't know if it, if it just is that this year we don't have as much, but uh, of the cabbage moth, but cabbage butterfly, but maybe the dill is doing its job. You'll have to let me know what you think. Look at these cabbage plants over here. We got cabbage. And we planted these. This is on the east side of these big trees here. So this area of the garden is always, uh, not always, but it's shaded uh, a lot, big part of the day, which is helpful when it gets hot outside. Uh, they seem to be growing really well. Now before I planted these plants, I dug a trench and I put uh, manure and compost underneath and they seem to really, to really love that. Come here Victoria, show them, show them how big these are. Kneel down by this guy. So you can see how, how big these cabbage plants have gotten. Now you notice these don't have as much dill in them and you can see that there's more uh, more damage from the cabbage pat caterpillar. So we've got some nice cauliflower. Oh, look at this beautiful head here. Look at these nice heads. Now this is a type of cauliflower that you don't have to tie up the leaves. Usually with cauliflower you have to tie the leaves like this so that they blanch white. But this, brand this particular species of cauliflower you don't have to. And look at these beautiful heads. They're just nice. I like that. So, we uh, we like to eat eat food. A lot of lettuce and vegetables out here at the Heritage Farm, and we're learning as we go. Even though I've been doing this for probably 50 years or more. So, thanks for watching. You have a good day. God bless you.